Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number 69 and in today's episode, we will be completing our little weekend league journey, um, which is always, always eventful, isn't it? So uh, yeah, if you do enjoy today's episode, do me a massive favor on this Monday and hit me with a thumbs up button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, if we can get anywhere near like two and a half thousand likes, that would be awesome. Thank you so much in advance for that. Uh, and of course, sub to the channel if you are new. Click in the notification bell so you become part of the squad and you never miss an upload. Now, um... Uh, the squad, the squad is as as you would imagine it. You know, it, the the latest change was obviously bringing Van Dijk and Allison in. Um, we have of course switched it so that that we've brought in Lengley as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but the content that we got on like Saturday night was a player pick, or not a player pick, a player SPC in Konate, who is a very very good looking center back he has got some great stats on him um however i think at just over a hundred thousand coins i would consider doing him if he fitted my if like if he fit my current squad and i'm not currently using anyone that would get like strong links to him or or anything like that so i think i'll probably pass on him um i'm so i think someone told me they're top of their group in uh, in champions league so he will like definitely get himself an upgrade but how far leipzig go uh, after that is anyone's guess really isn't it so uh I mean, if he went all the way to the final and they won it, he would have this unbelievably game-breaking best centre-back on the game type card. Because he's six foot four as well. However, it's very unlikely that that would happen. Let's say he got a couple of upgrades. I think that would come around sort of February or March or something. So it might be a little bit much. However, it is an already boosted version of Konate for those of you that are already using him. And I've got to say, yeah, he looks very, very good. So, we move on uh, into my champs games. They've been playing in the background. I think we just got a win. And I'm pretty sure that this game right here went all the way nil-nil until the 87th minute. And then my opponent got disconnected. Uh, I don't know at that point whether or not that that's them quitting or just... I, I, I don't know. Anyway, it was one of the more boring games of the weekend league. And uh, I'm actually kind of glad that that one never, never counted. Uh, because I could have seen myself going all the way to penalties and losing that one. Which would have been even more soul destroying. Uh, but we come up against this guy. Here. Sergio Ramos is pushing forward. And well, uh, that is, that's a lovely tackle from Van Dijk. We can go on the offensive here. Uh, or not. Because he can turn it back. Get it into Ben Yedda. That's a lovely one too. And that's going to be fired into the back of the net. Um, so... I think this is the game where uh, I, I can't remember it. There's all these games become a blur. So uh, I mean, we're two 0 down at this point, but I've got a feeling I get this one back to two all. Does that happen? I reckon it does. You know, um, I, I just I just have this feeling that we're gonna do it. You know. Anyway, Mbappe Berber spins inside. I basically hit him on a on a kickoff goal. Uh, we just ran straight down the other end. It was the 11th minute when we scored that one. So three goals in 11 minutes. That is typical FIFA for you. Uh, and then Mane gets enough power behind that shot uh, that even though Ter Stegen gets his legs on it, it is not enough to uh, to stop it or push it wide. It still goes in the back of the net. And then what is this? Are we going to turn the game around? Yes, we are. Mbappe with the outside of the boot strike at the near post uh, in the 62nd minute to put me 3-2 up. Um, but it looks like my opponent's coming back, Usman Dembele out wide into Ben Yedda, into Eden Hazard, who is going to just smash it past the goalkeeper, for some reason Alisson doesn't really save much on this game, and uh, and of course that was, that was another shot that goes in past him but look at that, we get a dodgy goal in the 108th minute and um, did my opponent see the ball again at the end of this game after this goal went in? Not, not a chance. Uh, as soon as I got that ball back, we were we we kept possession and kept possession well to make sure we come away with the victory in that game, which was actually pretty tough. So that is going to be our <coughs> excuse me ninth win <coughs> of the weekend league uh, or tenth. I can't I can't remember. I think it was the ninth. We come up against a nice squad here, and I was like, oh no, he's got a really good Kante. He's got Gerard. He, he, like I, I thought that this game was going to be awful. I thought it was going to go. Uh, like either a 4 or 5 nil to my opponent or one of those ones that goes all the way to extra time and pen penalties. Um, but this was one of the quicker games of the weekend league, you know. I, I go 1 nil up and Mbappe then plays it through to Mane who somehow gets that baller instead of the defender, stick it in the back.
back of the net, nine minutes on the clock. That guy with that great team decides to quit. And I, at that point, I'm like, yes, because that could have been a tough game. You know, with that squad at his disposal, I figured that that one was going to be uh, way more difficult than it actually turned out to be. Uh, so we've kind of evened it out now. You know that game that went all the way to the 87th minute and then he and then he quit or then he got disconnected. That was a waste of time. However, a nine-minute rage quit almost negates that, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, we're good. Anyway, next game, my opponent's got a red Martinez. Uh, yeah, Lautaro Martinez. He's also got a red nine Golem, but that's a fine chip from Kylian Mbappe to put me one nil up uh, and. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this game, he had hardly anything. I, I had so many opportunities. I was just chilling in Discord, talking to my mates, uh, and, and not stressed out at this point. Um, but it took until the 79th minute for me to actually get my second goal. I had so many opportunities that were clear-cut, and I should have scored. And it was actually my player of the month, Toko Akambi, that actually got the goal for me, which I'm very happy about. But my opponent scored an equaliser, and it came down to the 88th minute, where, again, I get a pretty dodgy, pretty lucky-looking goal from Mbappe um, to, to win me this match. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, but I was just having... I was just having some pretty close games, um, but those 16 shots that I had, I think like three or four of them hit the post, and I was just like, what's going on? What the, what's going on? And I started to get stressed as the match went on, even though uh, it felt like an easy game, but we only come away with a 3-2 lucky victory at the end. Oh, that is what the weekend league can do to you, mate. No, it really, it really can get... Um, it just plays with your head, doesn't it? You know, I, I would imagine, like, when I go into weekend league games and I see someone's got Mbappe or someone's got Messi or Ronaldo or Neymar, whatever it is, a good player, it instantly, like, it gets in your head and you're like, oh, God, this is probably going to be tough. But, like, look at the team that I've got. Surely, if anyone's like me, then they're, they're thinking, what has he got an amazing... He's got Van Dijk, Mane, Mbappe, he's got an icon. Like, you would imagine that it, it scares people a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but <laughs> they still they still play up against me, no problem whatsoever. Anyway, we come up against a nice-looking squad in this match, uh, and I figured it was probably going to be difficult. Took me 15 minutes to get the first goal there. Uh, Killian Mbappe put me 1-0 up at the near post. Just smashed it this time instead of finessed it. And I think maybe that's the play. I think that might be where I've been going wrong, really. Um, but Allison decides to just not even have a go at saving that one. He really is a pretty poor keeper. And uh, <clears throat> if we are more set on Lengley than, uh, than, than PK... Then maybe I, for now, just go for, go for Loris. And, and go. I don't know if that's better or worse. Uh, anyway, uh, we are 2-1 up here. Giovinco ends up uh, getting a, a 69th minute equaliser there. He'd literally just brought him on. And I was the one that triggered the substitution. So that was probably my fault. Uh, and then we get Kante sent off. And this game's going from bad to worse. You can see it happening. You can see it unfolding. You can see my head being removed from my body as I... As I have a complete heads gone, and Politano, what a player. Uh, he ends up sticking it into the back of the net. 3-2, I lose in the 90, 91st minute, I guess. Uh, and I felt like I didn't deserve that one. Uh, it felt very harsh, but, I mean, you can see the game. I guess it was actually fairly even, so uh, we'll take that on the chin, and we'll just move on. You know, that we're, we're at 12 wins. So uh, we were going to come up against someone that beats me eventually, weren't we? Uh, and then this is potentially where... Where things start to go downhill. You know, you lose one game in the later stages of your Foot Champs Weekend League. And all of a sudden, you are fully heads gone. Uh, and, and, and stuff just does not go, you know, the ball doesn't go where you want it to. Your opponent's still able to score the goals. And every single goal that they score trigger you. Like, it's, it is a mindset thing. Uh, and I think <clears throat> some of the weekends where I've done the best I've ever done. Uh, has just simply been because, like, even if I take a loss, I just try and... Just try and move on really quickly, you know, and, 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 and get into a new game and, and hopefully just keep your head. That is that is the main thing. But look at this. My opponent had red Messi. And if that's not anything to scare you at the start of a game when he's also got a Neymar and Mbappe, I don't know what is. But it took him 24 minutes to score. And I think I actually had the better first 25 minutes of this game. Uh, and I, So I wasn't about to just quit straight up or anything. We actually scored a really nice goal with Mane there. A lovely uh, first time chip shot after a chip ball over the top. Uh, and that gets us back in the game. But look at the goal my opponent scores here. Alisson flapping at the front post. And it just leaves Roberto Carlos there to volley home. Uh, and there's no defenders blocking that one at uh, this time. You know How many AI blocks are there in this game? 
game and that one didn't get blocked. And then look at this. I, I just, I can't. I don't even know. Like, that's nothing to do with me. I haven't told Alison to head that. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I think this is the third third loss in a row. We go we go a pretty bad streak, but uh, it is what it is. He did deserve to win that game, so there's there's no complaints there from me. I just wish Alisson would be a better goalkeeper at this stage. What was he doing? He'd come out and dive and headed it straight into Griezmann's path. <laughs> Oh, what 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 are you doing, mate? What get, who can I get in goal that is gonna be reliable? Do I just play Van Dyke on eight chemistry and get to Stegen, who is known as the best goalkeeper on this game? I think that could probably work. That could probably be for the best, because Van Dyke on eight chem versus ten chem, he's not gonna feel any different, is he? I, I reckon I'm gonna do that, you know. I think that that's probably gonna be the play. I'm gonna switch it up, I think. And Screw Van Dyke and his 10 chemistry. We'll just play him on eight, you know. Anyway, we're 2-0 up here. And Mbappe gets through. Just so composed. I just slowed down to make sure I actually scored that goal. And that is going to lead to a 3-0 rage quit. Wow, toxicity, Tom, from the, the, the shushing. What am I doing there? I think when I see someone pause, I'm just like, mm, quit, please. So you just rub it in a little bit more. But not proud of that. We move on anyway. 3-0 victory. That is a... Uh, and that is, of course, the amalgamation of someone that's just lost three games in a row. I'm pretty stressed at this point. But that is my 13th win. And we move on in to what is hopefully going to be the final game. We hope, anyway. This guy's got Drogba. So no matter what happens here, he's had a grind on his hands, right? He is, if he's got him from Icon Swaps, this fella has had a grind on his hands to get 23 out of the 24 tokens. And with the first shot of his game, like, it took 40 minutes for him to take a shot on goal. Um, he got that. He got that goal with Bale, and it was actually made from Drogba. But we had everything in this game, and I just couldn't stick it in the back of the net. I finally, finally stick one in the back of the net there just a few minutes later to, to get the equaliser. 45th minute cheese, you could probably, probably say. Um, but this game's going to penalties. This one went all the way. It went the distance, because even though I had a bunch more shots than my opponent and stuff, I just, it just, uh, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't going in the back of the net. And, um... So I've missed my first penalty. So it's actually an advantage to my opponent right now. Lucas Mora, which way are you going to stick it in, pal? It looks like you're going to go. He went down the middle. But he hit it over the bar because he red-timed it. Don't time your penalties. That is a lesson that I have learned in the last couple of episodes. Uh, anyway, we luckily score our next one. So uh, if he scores here, we are still uh, we are still even. If I save this one here, it will be advantage lasty. Um, but he sticks it in the back of the net. <coughs> <laughs> we was Sissoko. Now Mbappe steps up. Now I've missed a lot of my Mbappe penalties lately. Is it going to be the same again? No. We are luckily going to score that goal down the middle with Killian. Uh, and so at least we're scoring now. We missed the first one, but at least we're scoring at this point. Willian steps up. <coughs> sticks with his head movement. And actually goes down the right-hand side as opposed to... Uh, switching it up like I just did there and it gets saved so now it's advantage to my opponent if he scores this one he's gonna win the game why now Adam steps up sticks it down the middle and I lose uh yeah I don't I haven't won a penalty shootout this weekend it is uh it's been all my opponents I'm pretty sure uh but yeah he had four shots in the end in the entire game uh but I only had five on target so who knows uh that we are still stuck at 13 wins and we've taken a whole bunch of losses from like the 12th win to the 13th win. We've taken a whole bunch of losses here on our way up to gold 3 OP. And we move into a new game here. Marco Royce was a substitute that my opponent brought on right from the start. And he was able to score left-footed driven shot at the near post. Um, I would hope that my goalkeeper would get to that one. But we all know I'm using Alisson at this point. And Mbappe then somehow keeps the ball there. Knocks it into Mane. Stick that in the back of the net. And we can get an equaliser. Really not too long after my opponent had scored. Uh, can we turn this game around though? Griezmann's got the ball. He's going to knock it back inside to Sadio Mane. What a block from PK. But it just falls to Mbappe. And I can stick that in the back of the net. Uh, it was an AI block anyway. So uh, I guess... You know, he, he didn't know much about it. He couldn't do much about it. And to be honest, I feel like I should have probably scored from the Mane shot. Uh, but then Griezmann scores there to make me 3-1 up. And my opponent does rage quit. <coughs> so that is going to be our 14th win in the weekend league. And at that point, you can just be like... <sighs> you can just take that sigh of relief. <laughs> um, so 14 wins of 8 games remaining means that I went 14-8 and eight this weekend. 
an improvement on last weekend, but still a pretty awful weekend league. Uh, with the servers the way they are, I just you won't see me playing past 14 wins. I don't think it's worth it. It is a seriously stressful situation, and I admire any of you that can either, one, play all your 30 games, or two, see the benefit of that and just keep your head in this calm, in this game, keep your calm in this game when, when it is the way it is. Uh, I certainly can't. You are a bigger man than, than I uh, if you can do that. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, in terms of this squad, I was... Uh, about to list everything not not through rage or anything, but obviously with black friday coming up uh, I figured maybe it would be wise to sell stuff before like a crash But I I also got some advice from twitter saying that last year it didn't actually really crash So uh, I I could be lost uh, So there might be a couple of players here that I actually sell Um, just because I think they will drop like a rock in terms of price But it's more for the fact that I could then buy them back or I could try some other players out or whatever uh, I don't think this will be my team for the next weekend league at this point I'm not adverse to even selling Mbappe Um, if it was to bring someone of his caliber in like a, a good icon of that price or uh, Even if we were to somehow switch the team around sell Mbappe, but bring Neymar back Back in um, don't be surprised if you see that like I think it might be time to switch things up a little bit overall Van Dyke this weekend has been good not great um, I would say so you could potentially see him go as well uh, there are many things that we could do with the squad I will have a think about it and you'll probably see that over the next couple of episodes um, but yeah it might be time for some even more team changes to see if we can find something that is fun and works and that's how I enjoy the game I like to change the teams a lot so um I might end up selling everything. I'm just not sure yet. Uh, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. Do me a massive favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Show your support. Two and a half thousand likes on this episode would mean the world to me. Uh, and of course, if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be brilliant. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Come see what I'm getting up to on social media. Uh, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Hey, you made it through Monday. So uh, that is a start at least. I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace. Peace.